Good morning, Vietnam. Well, I'm sat here now with a beautiful lady called Lisa. She's one of my care workers who looks after me. I have a very bad back and we've just backed up. She's helped me back up. So we've done great on the house. The house was an office and I uh, had uh, paperwork all over the place. And uh, Lisa's it's been really good to me. She's, she's made me go through it and I've thrown all my notes away. No paperwork. Paperwork's gone. Two blue bins gone of paperwork, which is really plans and design documents on the theory that I should be starting again because my mind's changed. My ideas have changed. And I'm working with Richard and Richard introduced me to Trello. So we're using Trello now to log our tasks and to do our tasks. Now, I have a disaster recovery task called DR. Now, I've lost the, the password to be disaster recovery machine and I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to look to it. So I've had to set up a new uh, disaster recovery called... Um, well, let me think about it. Let me think about it. It's... Um, Talus, Talus Dr. Talus is the son of the son of Zeus. The story that, about that he was uh, punished. He was tied to a tree where he couldn't reach the, the fruit that was dangling down, and the waters below it in his feet. He, he, he couldn't reach that. He was punished by Zeus. It happens to be the boat that's owned by my my friend Vincent. Now I wanted to. Uh, call a website called Catalus uh, for my Wigby databases uh, but somebody's already taken it so I called it SS Talus 404 now I've asked Vinny to change the name of his boat but he won't but SS stands for seat, seat selection in aircraft now I'm you know, on the phone to my friend Tom Davis and Tom Davis has got a job now in um, Royal Royal something doing Power BI. He had a job doing the Power BI. I think he was in banking. But Tom invested a lot of money in himself, about £100,000, to become a pilot. So what we're going to be doing with, with Tom is creating Manchester United Airways. And we're going to hire a plane and take people to New York. When he's got his pilot's license, well, well, when well, he's working, he's got his pilot's license now, and I'll be ta talking to Tom about hiring a plane and doing a magical mystery tour to New York, so people can go and watch concerts at the Madison Square Garden. Well, that's just one of the plans. One of just one of the live plans that I'm working on with Tom, and Tom's going to be doing lessons for my university in Power BI. What I've asked Tom to do is to come down now. In my new, my new office with my computers with two desks, I have a desk over there, which has got three computers on it. Um, one of which which got Power BI. I've got this one here, which I'm using as my main machine, which has got Visual Studio and SQL Server. I've now got a Linux machine, which is my old, uh, my old home server, and I've got my trusty Apple Macs, which I use which is, uh, is, is terribly poorly at the moment. It has trouble coming up. It's not very, it's, it's not very good. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I might need to, uh, need to get rid of it. Um, but touch wood, it keeps up and keeps servicing me where I do my, uh, my emails. Right, so where are we? What happened? Traumatic times. Traumatic times. What day was it? I'll just look at my notes. Twenty third, a few days ago, Roy Tucker came round. Roy Rogers, as I was calling him on his, on his website. Me and Roy has done wonderful work on our website for peer mentoring and for mental health. We had a session where we brainstormed all the mental health diseases that you could that you could get, and we called. I think I did that on Roy Rogers. I might have done it on peer mentoring, but we created peer mentoring and peppy suicide uh, with Roy. 
I write it as another one of my sort of care workers, complex care, because I'm bipolar. I'm not doing that, I'm saying bipolar, very bipolar, don't sleep at night, um, sleep during the day. Um, uh, but uh, my mind's constantly buzzing, constantly firing away. And on the 23rd, I had to go for my, uh, to the hospital to, uh, to see Aidan. He phoned me in the morning. I mean, Roy walked down. He put his phone on what on the step meter because Roy takes me out for a walk. Uh, I've got a bad back. And we walked a mile and a half to the hospital. And I, uh, I, uh, Roy went to the toilet. And I should have got, got Roy to come in with aid because I, I spoke to Roy. He said, Right, what we'll do, uh, uh, Roy, I'll work on my Medicare when we get back from the hospital. And uh, I, uh, I've done a new uh, non duality website with Pete, Pete Dewar from the hospital on my well-being um, awareness uh, self check that I do in the morning for uh, Medicare. I ask my question, myself 10 questions, how I'm doing every day and, and log it. And I don't, lo I don't log it in Medicare because Dr. Blackner won't look at it. In fact, Dr. Blackner can't look at it because Withenshaw blocked Proto page. Now, which is really shame because T T's and Weir do Proto page for teaching their people, and I link there to my website, my study buddies for, for teaching at T's and Weir in NHS Infinite. So I had to wait for Aid. He got to the toilet. He came to the toilet. And I should have had Roy. I should have had Roy in with Aid to, to discuss the discussion that we had. So Aid gave me his, gave me the injection, and. Um, I said, have you got five minutes, eight? He said, yeah, I've got five minutes, for you. I said, let's have a chat. Let's have a friendly chat. Uh, what have you been doing? He told me about his fish. And he had shown me his phone and his, and his pictures of Claude Carp. And I told him how I had, I, I, I had Carp and uh, how I had to empty my pond when I left, when I left Gatley and uh, how a fox had got in and a fox had died. And I put my Claude Carp into a tub and I didn't aerate it and, and they all died. So I lost my car and I lost my pond. But I, I had a big pond and I gave the, I gave the pond pump to my Uncle Paul for his, for his fish pond that's uh, in, uh, in North Manchester. Well, then I got talking to two, two, two nurses in the room. Um, Aid and asked if uh, Mel, the student nurse, could give me an injection, which I, uh, which I obliged. I don't mind. I'm good with, I'm, I'm, I'm good with, with my, my needles. So I said to Mel, will you do something for me, Mel? She said, she said what? She said, well, I'm going to ask you now. I want 10 questions to be asked me about my general health. How am I feeling? And, 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 and Roy said, anyway, here's question one. How are you feeling today, Al? So we did 10 questions. I said, right, 11th question, any other business. I said, now we'll do 10 questions about mental well-being for my by my bowl, how, how I, I do my CBT questions, right? So we, we did that, and I, again, I finished off with question 11. Um, any other business? So I, I said, Right, Mel, this is what I want you to do. A student nurse I said, What are you studying? And she said, Mental health. I said, Right, I want you to create a mental health website. Give me a piece of paper, and I'll write down what you need to do. So she gave me a piece of paper. I wrote down, she had to create a Gmail account. Then she had to uh, create a proto page in her own name. And then she had to go on YouTube and look for mental health videos and record them in the favorites and bookmarks on mental, on, uh, on, on mental health. And then she had to do a thesis by using chat GPT to ask the chat GPT to do a thesis or, or an essay on whatever, su stu whatever subject she was studying for her revision notes. Right? Chat GPT does that and you can save that into a form, a, a Socrates form on your Google Drive and share it with, um, share it with Proto page. Socrates document is one that's been spell checked and has grammar checking. Chat BGGG, BT, Zap, GPT, 
I assume spell checks and grammar checks. So I told Mel that she, she creates Genesis documents in her Google Drive, which have not been spell checked and not gone through grammar, and store those and share them on her, her um, Google Drive for her revision notes. She create a, a revision folder on her um, on her Google Drive. I didn't tell her about Plato. I didn't tell her about Deimos. I didn't tell her about Phobos. And I didn't tell her about Apollo. This is an Apollo document. What I'm doing now for you, Chief Inspector Stephen Watson, is an Apollo document. And it's re to report incidents. Right, so we walk back from uh, the hospital, me and Roy, and this video has gone to 10 minutes now. I'm going to stop at... Uh, I'm going to stop at 15 minutes because it's uh, it's too long and I'm doing my life story in uh, a day in the life. I'll do an, an hour long video in a day in the life for my tea time movies. But I'm going to stop off after, 50, after 15 minutes because that's long enough. So we walk back uh, from, the, from the hospital, making the walk three miles, which is good, which I uh, didn't get me thrombosis in my leg, which I, norm which I normally get. And I came home and I decided to do my marvellous Mel website on uh, my proto page. Because Mel, the uh, occupational therapist, I went through the same procedure with Mel when she came to look at my house uh, a few days ago. So this is the 23rd. I went onto my machine. I said to Roy, I've done the tasks. Roy, there you are. That's what we're going to discuss. I've done it with aid. I should have had you in. So we don't need to do it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll document these now on uh, Marvellous Mel uh, on, uh, on my machine. So I went on my machine, my trusty uh, Apple, took a little bit of time to get into it. First thing I always do, check my email, because it's, it's there to auto-sign in, into my email, Alan, uh, Alan Bramwell 1. Disaster. Disaster recovery. Website terminated, website terminated, website terminated, website terminated. 13 websites, the primary websites. 17 years work, lost. My university work, lost. But I didn't panic. I didn't panic. I was calm. I was determined to stay calm. I set to my mind I would stay calm by doing a plan. So I put the kettle on, got the paperwork out, and decided what I was going to do. The first thing I did was to contact Proto Page to ask them to recover my files. Right, I'm just saying bye bye to Lisa now. Lisa's got to go. She's seen me doing the Apollo document. She sees how I work. She's a lovely lady. Bye, Lisa. See you soon. Let yourself out. Thank you for everything. Right. She's lovely. She's gone. She had to go. She's busy. All right. Um, so this is going to go a little bit over 15 minutes. Not, not long. I won't keep you long, uh, uh, Stephen Watson. I'm doing a, I'm actually a report, which I, I should write off to you. Um, so I came home, wrote a plan, wrote, wrote to Proto Page. And, and my Community Guardian website had gone. So I created Manchester Community Guardians and noted down all the sites that I'd, I'd lost and created links to the sites that I'd lost. Uh, and then started to remember and log down the important types sites, which included Greater Manchester Police and the NHS uh, and all the uh, my, my Blue Flamingo site had gone which is my charity site and uh, this is going to go over, over 15 minutes so I'm sorry about that uh, so I started to log them down and I uh, started to change them to web websites and um, that took me 20 hours fortunately I was looking for Richard Gilbert Infinite, which had not been shown as a deleted 
as a terminated um, uh, site. This is a mystery to me. I was trying to log down the internet sites, the, the, the Queen Elizabeth Micronet and the HRH Infonet. I was I was trying to log down those and try, trying to log me internet sites and Richard Gilbert Infonet and WTO Intranet. And I was changing my passwords and Richard Gilbert Infonet was, wasn't coming up. So I uh, I checked again my um, Community Guardian site and it was there. The Plural Proto page. They'd recovered my lost terminated files. So I sent them a thank you. I got onto them and sent them a thank you. Said, well, great work. Now, this really reassures me now that I'm using the right product. I have not announced ProtoPage to the world because I had a virus on my Red Octopus site um, and I reported that and they didn't get back to me. Thoughts on ProtoPage? ProtoPage, very sad of you. Uh, but I don't know, you, probably, you, you might get lots of queries. You don't answer your feedback files when I... Uh, that's the only criticism I've got with ProtoPage. They don't answer the feedback and I want to get in touch with the developers at the Proto page because I want to tell them about forest404.com Proto Search, what we are developing, a new internet search engine for Proto pages. Right. 20 hours went to bed, trying to get some sleep. Jump forward now to the 26th because I, I did some work on, 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 on websites after my 20 hours disaster recovery. I did some work on websites to tidy, to tidy them up. Um, I forget now which ones I uh, did. Oh, Bramwell. I, uh, I created the Bramwell clan. Uh, I must remember that. Just let me get a pen. Right, I haven't, I haven't tagged the Bramwell clan in my tal uh, Talancus. Right, I did work on the Bramwell clan for my, uh, for my sites that I remembered. And I went through and changed the passwords uh, whilst I was doing it. That was be 20 hours. And... Uh, I uh, went to bed and I was having some sleep and I was I was I was doing okay. I was I was I was fine. Roll forward to the 26th. Woke up in a dream. In my dream world, I dream my work. I'm a I'm, I'm a lucid thinker. I'm a lucid dreamer. Woke up six o'clock in, in the morning. Phone the police. Get the police out. Get the police out to do your twilight golf. Phone 101, not 999, to report an incident. Can't find my memory sticks for my me, uh, for, for me machine uh, with my websites on. And me, and me training for, uh, they call AMS, Alan Sugar, stat, stat, stat memory sticks with a 49 page uh, university notes on it. Which I'm, uh, which I'm selling for a hundred and one pounds. So can't find them. Three memory sticks disappeared. Worried now that I've lost my key, my spare key to the front door. I had a bag. I left the front door open and I had a bag stolen. 
with a diary in it with my passwords and the, the key was on the um, thermostat. I was out at the back talking to a neighbour. Stupid of me, I've left the front door open. So I phoned the police to report that I believe now that I've lost the key and I'm going to have to have my door, my door changed. Right? I'm happy to mention that I'm bipolar and that I'm suffering from now, now suffering from a panic attack. And my blood pressure's gone up to 185 over 145. And I'm getting chest pains and I'm, 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 I'm suffering. I'm suffering from um, a head, head pains and headaches. I've gone hot and sweaty. I'm suffering. Right. Policeman. Alan, Alan 68998. Commendation. Stephen, Watt, uh, Stephen Watson. So that policeman really looks after me. Incident. 663. 2603-2023 said he was going to send the police round to look after me because he was concerned about me being suicidal because I mentioned I'm suicidal he kept on the phone for about 10 minutes waiting for the police to arrive but they never arrived so he had to put the phone down and I went tried to get back to sleep and now I'm really panicking I'm really panicking because when the police come, they take me to the hospital and they section me. And I can't afford to be sectioned again. So I'm really panicking. Can't get to sleep. Head's pounding. Heart's coming out of my chest. Big pain through the through me through my shoulder blades. Chest is shattering. Eyes are stinging. Vision's going not good not good at all get a phone call from the ambulance service how are you feeling feeling terrible we'll send an ambulance round. i said it's okay you don't need to i'll take a sulfur and some calms and i'll settle myself down i just need to relax and go to sleep she said i'm going to send an ambulance round anyway you're not well you're not you're not you're not, you're not good send you down for an ecg I said, thank you very much, but you don't need to. You don't need to. I'll be all right when I take me sulfidine and my calms and I settle myself down. I just need to relax and tell myself that I'm all right. I just need to do a plan for how I'm going to launch the newly, newly defined Manchester Guardian site and what communications or what letters I have to write. I have to do a list of letters that I need to write. I've wrote to Andy Burnham, Manchester Mayor, and I've got a Manchester Mayor's site, which I haven't tabbed, and I haven't changed the uh, uh, the uh, password for Manchester Mayor, the Mayor, the Mayor. So I'll write that down as well. I've forgotten to do that. Right. Andy Han Andy Burnham hasn't uh, been in, been in touch with me. I wrote a long letter about all the proto page sites that I did. It was a four page letter and I was really stupid. I was really stupid. It should have been a report, but I just did it as a, as a letter and I used up a whole ream of my letter headed stationery, printing them. And then when I looked at it, I thought, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Nobody's going to read that. It's a jabberwocky. So, I've got a ream of paper with loads of pro and proto page sites on. I've got 200, um, which is um, which I'm not going to send out, including the King of England and Prince and the uh, Prince William. I wrote to Prince William in in uh, July last year. And then haven't had a reply. I write to Mike Kane on a nightly basis and he doesn't reply to me. I've written to Andy Burnham and he doesn't reply to me. It's as if I'm a non person. I've wrote to two lords in the in the House of Lords asking for their support and they've not they've not replied to me. So I'm not getting replies from MPs, I'm not getting re 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 replies from the from the mayor, and I've got an appeal 
against the Secretary of State about being taxed on my pension account that I had for Emma. Uh, they're taking £20,000 off me and I'm putting in an appeal. So I've got to write an appeal about that and show them my financial accounts, of, uh, which I announced to the uh, Department of uh, um, the DWP. What a disaster. I charge, cross charge this because me, me uh, red camel sites to Richard had gone down. So I'm cross charging this to Richard. And for a disaster recovery, I charge £64,000 an hour. Now I've told a story, I'll tell you a story about that later in my, in my story, which is on my Tea Time Movies website. 25 minutes, I'm going to go now. I've told you the incident report, and I've asked for the transcript of that incident report from Alan PC, PC 68998 um, to be printed. I'll now go on today. I've created the sanctuary and speaker's corner where i'll be announcing to the world all the work that i've done uh, for manchester as a community guardian and my speaker's corner will be at withington golf club where i've been banned at withington golf club just like gary lineker for being outspoken it's a sad world today that you can't speak your mind without people banning you from the, from the organisations that you're working for. For 16 years I've tried to do the website for Withington Golf Club with the director's table and I had an incident, an argument over getting the design of a business card for the Manchester discount card, the Infinity discount card. A, uh, a barmaid told me not to speak to members whilst they were eating. And I told her, I simply said to her, do you mind, my, my membership pays for your wages can you not disturb me while i'm talking to a member of council she complained i got thrown out of the club i created a website glinica world for gary because i feel for gary he spent something which wasn't outrageous wasn't outrageous the government is like a, a nazi regime in, so, in, in, in many uh, in many aspects but I've studied accounts, and I believe the, econo the economics of this present government by uh, increasing uh, interest rates to, to fight inflation is the right way to do that. And if you want to study the economics, go to protopace.com, Economics 2020, which is an open university course, topped up with YouTubes from Martin Friedman. I think his name's Martin Friedman. I can't really remember. I have to look at it again, uh, but uh, yes, I've studied macroeconomics and I've got a great video on there from YouTube all about macroeconomics, which compresses it with a man who talked at 100 miles an hour, which is what I like to speak at. I like to speak at 100 miles an hour, but the, the hospital gets me down for having pressured speech and talking all over the place. And I have spoken to you today, Stephen Watson, all over the place. Because that's the type of man I am. I expect you to take notes of what I'm saying and order them and go through in transition. And if you want to know about in transition, you can go to protopage.com, www in transition. Right, this tells you how to take notes and organise yourself. And I will be telling you to Stephen Watson how to organise your IT department. This is 29 minutes, 15 seconds. Good night, Vienna. Right, you can go to Tea Time Movies. Watch Goodnight Vienna and watch my Harvard, Harvard University uh, keynote speech. I've got a lot to say to myself. I'm finishing now. Goodnight Vienna, Stephen Watson. I started with uh, Good Morning Vietnam. This video will be called Good Morning Vietnam and it's going on Tea Time Movies for Cine World. Protopage.com, Cine World. Thank you, Stephen Watson. I shall be writing to you and we will be good friends. Thank you and good night.